Yes, that's how my system is programmed. This is an ancient African face. I don't have enough information. That's why it was flagged like that. I am Joe Adri. I uncover Africa's untold stories and help you heal through storytelling. Let me share my experience with you. Um, so my mom gave me this book, this book over three decades ago. That's why it's so important to read. If you've got analog stuff, read it. Because after doing my research, I read the story together and everything. And I put it on ChatGPT. I just wanted to get some you know, structure ideas and see what's on the internet. The old school way would be to go to Google. You get about 10, 12 sources. You read them and everything. But, but now, in the age of artificial intelligence, platforms like ChatGPT, and I put in these Igbo body markings. And it is, it's translated it automatically to scarifications. That's not what it is. It's beyond that, right? So I probe ChatGPT and ChatGPT is so biased about it, diminishing it. And even when I wanted to get like some images, it's I saw it generating the image, got to half and cancelled and said it violates its policy. I'm like, how does it violate the policy? Then it's telling me about self-harm and all this. And I'm like, seriously? Then I'm like, okay, what's very similar to this, right? What's the evolved version of this? Tattoos. I put the same thing, the same questions, and it's so neutral. It almost even encouraged me to go and get a tattoo here because it's identity, personal meaning, and all of this. And I'm like, I weigh both together on ChatGPT, analyzing it, critically probing it, right? Prompting it. And then at the end of the day, I apologize. Like, yes, that's how my system is programmed. And because I don't have enough information about this is an ancient African um, space, I don't have enough information that's why it was flagged like that and this really woke me up like we have to continue reading if we've got analog stuff continue reading continue gathering your stories because the world we're heading into is going to be biased misinformation maybe we're already in the world right now right so not only reading but putting in that your knowledge like putting that knowledge in the internet so that we can balance the flood of information because the people that create these platforms some of them are biased some of them are ignorant some of them just don't care so we have to make them care the more we prompt 